once we can open the chamber we get the wafer that we want to process in this case we are using a wafer that has been previously processed and we are using a carrier wafer uh, we are using a carrier wafer because we are gonna edge through the wafer so we want to be sure uh, that there's something maintaining the integrity of the wafer and it doesn't break down inside the chamber in the SOP you will find different ways of bonding a wafer to a carrier wafer you use that when you edge through or when you are using wafers smaller than four inches that it's the way that the machine is designed you need uh, four inch wafers to to operate so as you can see the wafer has a flat once we open the chamber we will see that the carousel has a mark please align the flat with the mark on the carousel as you can see here there's a small mark please align the flat with the, the mark in the carousel we just close the, the chamber and back into the transfer menu you press pump and map the pump and map what it does it, it pumps down the chamber into a vacuum and at the same time checks where are the wafers are where the wafers are placed if you pay attention like soon enough we will see how the carousel moves to detect the wafers So now uh, the software has finished uh, mapping uh, the carousel. As you can see, uh, we have done two, two positions uh, and we only have a, a wafer on the position number one. So we go to the transfer menu and because in this case the slot number one is already selected, we can just go ahead and press load. And then once we selected the proper slot, we just press load. And you will see now that the carousel goes inside into the chamber to load the proper wafer. So once the wafer is inside the chamber, before uh, starting with uh, changing the recipe, it's a good thing to do to check that uh, it has been uh, loaded properly. We have a light here on purpose to check that everything is in place so turn on the light and check inside the chamber to see that the clamps are uh, holding in place uh, our wafer so once the wafer is inside the chamber we will choose the desired uh, recipe